Hi guys. Um, I'm back, back in Holland, and energies have been have been like like a roller coaster for a couple of days. <laughs> a lot of love and a lot of passion and um, a lot of new insights of how I perceive life and how for me it is to follow my heart. It's it's really beautiful and it also shows um, life is full of changes and full of unexpected turns. Um, yeah, so the reason I chose to make this live video today is that today there is so many mixed energies going on. I feel these waves. I feel this wave of love. I feel this way of opening doors, new doors in life, new doors for life. Um, not only for myself, but within the collectives. Also, <laughs> I, also I feel this deep um, wave of grief and heaviness and it was there already in the morning and I was like I'm, I don't get it I'm not I'm not depressed <laughs> I'm pretty happy I I feel really good so I, I couldn't really grasp it until I realized that today apparently is this day where these tower thingies went down many years ago and therefore the collective have kind of energy attached to what's that um, and also, of course, because of this hurricane thing there have been and for me and the perspective of which I perceive energies, um, things in this life is duality. We have all the emotions, we have all the experience. If we are not experiencing it ourselves, then somebody in the world are and we can choose how we link to this vibration. Um, Yeah, so feeling these waves, I I understand they're there and I accept they're the present. I'm not putting it out or taking it in. Is your chest there? Is a tattoo? What tattoo? Oh, you know what? I will come back to that one. So. The thing is, if you've been feeling weird today, it's probably because of these waves which have been going on. So don't get scared, don't lose your mind, don't think that you are on your way down some kind of hill. It's not that at all. We are stepping into more and more light in the form that I see and perceive the world. Um, and for me, when light is, is rising, when the frequency is rising, then what? Um, with, with what wants to do the opposite will also try to rise. They will try to rise fear, they will try to rise hatred from one to another or makes us scared of each other. And I just want to share that no matter what people say, no matter what you hear on the news, no matter what spiritual teacher says, Listen to your heart, listen to your feelings, your heart, what feels right and open inside of you. Because we have each of our perspective and in this time of awakenings, there is so many different frequencies people can tap into and people get afraid of each other <laughs> because much of this new information are not grounded within us. So we can pick it up from different uh, stations, let's put it like that. So somebody will become afraid of one energy, other people will become afraid of another energy and in the end it will bring us to a place where we start fearing each other. It's not about that. Don't fear that you are walking the wrong path. Don't fear that it's a sin for you to follow your true desire. Just stop up in the middle of it all, in the middle of your waking, in the middle of your choices, in the middle of your life, in the middle of the path you thought you were meant to go and just feel. Close your eyes, feel in your heart. Where do I feel the most free? 
what feels the most right within me. When you see these people that you are told to be afraid of, look them in the eyes, look deep in their eyes and ask yourself, is there really something to be afraid of? Or is this just a soul just like me with their own way of perceiving life and from that perception they see it differently? Let's try linking together heart to heart instead of meeting each other in fear or on the surface. Let's link together heart to heart and meet this other person, which, you know, basically is a part of yourself, but in this three-dimensional world, <laughs> is another person. So look each other in the eyes and and get to know that person behind all the beliefs, behind all the fears and we can together break down these fears we can together break down these beliefs or these religions which are keeping us apart nobody can control us beside ourselves and there's so much beauty in this world and when we see it within each other the world becomes an even better place um, let me see you do not understand what I'm talking about. I am talking about life. I am talking about humanity. That we as people should look each other in the eyes and see the soul behind the surface. I'm talking about love. Because everything there is in this life is love. You know, or the lack of love. And... Yeah, Ahmed. Iman, Sophia. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so this was a very short live stream. I just just wanted to share this message and wish everybody a really, really beautiful evening. Um, yeah, and don't be afraid. You know, don't be afraid of whatever ways come along or whatever fear people try to put out there on the internet or the TV. Just feel. What is right for you within this moment? Right here, right now. Open your eyes, go outside, look around. What is true to you? So that's what I wanted to share. And I will go dancing in the gym. <laughs> Have a great night. And uh, yeah, if there is any anything, you're always welcome to send me a message. Message? Message? <laughs> and I would love to answer it. Okay. Doei doei.